It's a holiday weekend and most of the restrictions placed on Arizona businesses due to COVID-19 are gone. So many pools, pool clubs and club clubs have reopened and many Arizonans are out there this weekend having a good time. I spoke with Will Humble, the former director of the State Department of Health Services, about whether or not it's possible to keep these places safe in the age of social distancing. The scene on Indian Plaza in Old Town Scottsdale is rowdy, but look closer. Panes of plexiglass in between booths and signs encouraging social distancing on the walls. Employees in masks. But a lot depends on your customers, too. Um, are they respectful? Are they, when you ask them to change their behavior or do something differently, are they going to comply with that or not? And what happens when the drinks start flowing? After a few drinks, they're like, what? <laughs> COVID-19? Anytime you throw alcohol into the mix, things get more difficult and more challenging. But what about pool clubs? They've got chlorine, and that kills the virus, right? For the purposes of COVID-19, if you go swimming in a pool that's got at least one part per million chlorine in it, um, then that's a good disinfectant and it's a safe thing to do. Humble says things get dicey when people are out of the pool or even at a swim up bar. When it comes to the kind of swimming that happens at a bar, I just don't know how you keep the social distancing and the distance thing happening. It's going to take a lot of staff time and some bouncers probably that are not shy about breaking up um, unsafe behavior. Given the difficulty of that mission, Humble says anyone who goes to a social atmosphere like this, even with chlorine present, will have to consider that before going anywhere else. Please remember that it's not just your risk that you're dealing with, you're risking other people too. 